Yo, what's up guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And yes, the title is correct. Now I know a lot of people have probably been talking about this for God knows how long ever since the Black Ops 2 backwards compatibility has been made available for the Xbox One. And to be fair, I absolutely played the game for a good amount of time for the first couple days since I decided to play it. And I am here to tell you without a shadow of a doubt that Black Ops 2 plays absolutely better on the 360 than the uh, than the Xbox One. The only thing that's a pain in the ass is the switching of the controller, especially if you're like me and you have an Elite controller. And speaking of an Elite controller, yes, I have seen Drifter's video about the whole input lag thing and uh, the only way you can uh, fix it or make it even a little bit better is by having a an Elite controller. And I followed the directions as uh, so in the video and I can tell you it's uh, it kind of feels like a placebo effect, to be honest. It does very, very little as far as the input lag is concerned. So, uh, but it does bring it does bring a lot of fruition to what everybody's been talking about Call of Duty for like the longest time ever, and that is connection above everything else. Connection can make or break the game, and the best way to describe how Black Ops 2 feels on the Xbox One is it kind of feels like a mix of when Black Ops 2 was originally released for the 360 of how the connection was just all over the place and the hit detection registration was all over the place and uh, the lag comp was even worse so that's the best way to describe it is that it feels like lap the lag comp and the wall uh, what's it called the rubber banding uh, where bullets go around walls or whatnot from what it seems uh, from what you see on your screen is um, it seems like it's just increased a notch up instead of decreased so I don't know why that is, I don't know if there's anything with the simulation or whatnot, or simulation, the emulation. I mean, I'm not a tech person, so I can't go into specifics. I, I don't know. But all I know is that I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time, and I've been playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for a while now, for the last couple weeks, uh, back into COD again, because uh, it's kind of keeping me on ice, so to speak, until, um, until the next update for Halo comes along. But anyway, that's another story for another video, I guess. But... Um... For those of you guys that had thoughts about maybe trading in your Xbox 360 for money or for credit at GameStop, for instance, now that backwards compatibility is available on the One, I highly recommend you do not do that because uh, going back to what I originally said uh, is uh, connection above all. And the reason why I'm making this video, even though a lot of people out there that are way, way more popular than me have been making this video or a video similarly related, is simply because uh, one of the things that's really cool about being a really small YouTuber like myself is that people can kind of trust you a little bit more because uh, you're not sponsored by anybody or you know or things like that and there's no money that comes into play because uh, with money comes corruption and all this other kind of thing so um, and I'm not making a cent off of YouTube so one thing I can tell you is if if you were curious about this or if you had any doubts or weren't sure uh, one thing I can tell you is rest assured that it does play better on the 360, so do not get rid of your 360. Uh, and as a matter of fact, back when I got the 360 again for Christmas, just so I can play Black Ops 2 again, believe it or not, um, even the even the gentleman at GameStop actually told me that the games uh, that were originally on the 360 play better than they do on backwards compatibility, specifically multiplayer games or like games like COD and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm sure there may be a few exceptions here and there, but I can definitely see where they're coming from. And uh, also, there's also on the Xbox One, I've noticed that there's a lot of skipping around. Everybody's skipping around. Host migrations like crazy. Uh, even the Mark J made a video the other day. I think it was yesterday, last night. He released a video asking if, you know, he should play it on the 360 or on the One or whatnot. Or, or excuse me, or if he should, you know, uh, or if he should uh, get a One or something like uh, something along those lines. And basically, I even responded to him on Twitter. I basically said it plays way better on the 360, and I told him that the best way to describe it is that it feels like lag compensation has been increased even more for the one for the one version. So, um, and he actually responded back to me, as you can see here. Uh, so, um, and as a person that's been playing Call of Duty, and, and there's no other Call of Duty that I played more than Black Ops 2. Uh, I've got over 50 days since the game has been released on this game, so. And uh, the population is bigger than ever, which is a good thing. Um, I don't know if it's ever going to be patched. Probably not. But at the same time, you never know. It could be a minor patch. But um, 
but that's the way it feels so for those of you guys that have a 360 and are holding on to it simply because of this game or maybe because of some older Call of Duties that came out on the 360 uh, keep it because you know and the only thing you have to worry about is a damn controller going back and forth between consoles but it's a it's a minor thing to worry about in comparison to the aggravating uh, connection issues and how everything feels when you play it on the one. Uh, very minor. Connection above all, trust me. Uh, uh, if you think you died fast in in uh, by getting quick scoped on the 360, it's even faster. It feels like it almost feels like you're playing hardcore mixed with ghosts and the Black Ops 2 paint job, so to speak. Uh, because it, when you go back, if you go if you play it on the one, and then if you have a 360 and you go back play it back on the 360, you will notice immediately. Especially if you're if you're a person who's been playing Call of Duty for a long time, you will notice almost immediately that there are actually real legit gu gunfights in uh, in the 360 version, as opposed to uh, as opposed to the Xbox One version, to where all of a sudden you're dead faster than you know faster than uh, you were previously in previous games. So it's a uh, it's inconsistent. That's the way. That's the way I, I could put on it. I can put on it. Now, obviously, I think if you play in the middle of the day when the population is a little bit better, uh, the, the experience might be slightly better for you. But for the most part, it's something that is very inconsistent. So, um, if you're not that picky about it, then uh, don't worry about it. Play it on whichever console you want, uh, if you have the choice. That is. Um, and if if it does play a big deal to you for one reason or another, whether you do YouTube or whether you just uh, are a passionate Call of Duty fan and things like this matter to you most, uh, 360 is the way to go uh, until further notice. You never know. They might patch it up, but chances are they probably won't, but who knows. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's all I have for this one. I uh, just want it to be a little bit of informative, so um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you got something out of the commentary, and as always, if you like the video, let me know, and if you don't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.